Hi, so uh, this is a recap of my most recent adventure. Um, I decided to head up to uh, Cataract Falls, uh, which is uh, the largest waterfall in Indiana. It's actually the two largest waterfalls in Indiana. There's upper and lower falls. Each of them uh, alone are, are will be the largest waterfalls in Indiana. Um, but uh, the reason I was heading up there is uh, uh, there's a reservoir uh, called Cagles Mill uh, or Cataract Lake. Um, uh, it's known by either name, um, that, uh, is below the falls and at certain times the crappie will just flood up to the waterfall. So I was really trying to time that. Unfortunately, I didn't catch anything. I talked to six or seven other folks out there too. There wasn't a person that caught a fish this day while I was out there. So unfortunately it was a pretty rough day to be out on the lake. Um, but I had fun anyway, which is, um, you know. My motto, I guess. I'm dumb enough to have fun even when I don't catch fish. So, uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, like and subscribe if um, you're entertained by it and you might like some more of my stuff. Thanks. Oh, yeah. And look at my awesome pal custom paint job. Whoa! First part here, I'm just going to cover some ground and uh, start heading upstream. So. So I am going to show one useful trick. A buddy of mine, Tim Gentry, showed me this trick a long time ago when I was a kid. You want to get a lighter? <laughs> there we go. Boom. Cut the line. I always have a lighter for just in the event I get stranded out here. <laughs> and i got to spend the night because it's happened. There's your million dollar fishing tip of the day. That and don't fall in the water. Because if there are crappie, our lures in the world will work, but nothing works like a minnow. Enough. If it's over seven. Lots of reasons I like fishing minnows in the winter or in the colder temperatures. One is they stay alive for a really long time. I bought these probably approaching two weeks ago. Turn. Like a glove. That was Jim Carrey. Oh yeah, 
Look at those. Oh. They look like little boats. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. I'll make them. This one is mine at 10 times. Where are Annika and Brady? You want to show me? Right here. You got to find a cave. Oh, this is cool. Well, you can't. Ooh. This is cool up in here. I found it. I found it. <laughs> Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Can you clean a bottle of Jamie Sam? Can you say rubber baby <laughs> buggy bumpers? <laughs> rubber baby oh, bumpers. Oh, stop. Can you say rubber baby buggy bumpers? No. <laughs> no, but. Let's I, hear it, Annika. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Hey, I just. Baby bug, yeah, buggy Wait, bumpers. Wait, baby baby buggy bumpers. Baby <laughs> buggy bumpers. <laughs> not bad, guys. Not bad. All right, here's my spinner with the crappie jig. We're gonna try this in the waterfall. That and my old faithful Rapala. Okay, fun time's over. Lunch is over. Time to go do some fishing. So we're tied off this little rock right here. There is a little bit of a hydraulic current pulling me that way towards the waterfall. So we're just gonna tie off this rock and I'm gonna try to drift some baits out in here, hoping that there's a flurry of crappie. Um, and uh, see what happens. Yeah, if I could do this without hitting all the rocks behind me when I cast. But couldn't ask for a prettier location. I mean, I guess I could ask for it. Maybe if my Throw this little guy out now. Woo! He'll get deep quick. <laughs> Whether you're catching or not, it's a lot better when you're fishing under a waterfall. Trying to jig this down in this little pool behind the waterfall. Don't feel dance to this one. fish I had on instead of switching out my hooks and shoved a worm on it. We're just going to drift backwards and let it ride the bottom this time.
class 101. Whatever. So, this is funny. I, I anchored off here. I'm here for like two minutes. And I'm getting a bubble bath. All this foam is just building up right here. This spot's not gonna work. I like the bubble bath though. bubbles find a little parking spot here nice little ledge to get out on walk around so i'm gonna fish from up here for a little bit rest just sitting in the kayak too long just clears you out i'm gonna throw a minnow out up here and just see what happens got a nice little spot to lay down and take a nap too if i want to a few other fishermen showing up now whatever it's supposed to be my spot
not be laying in some today, but there's always tomorrow. What time is it? Time for a bubble bath. <laughs> nice and snug. Anchoring. Bubble Wrangler. I'm out here harvesting bubbles. Been out since 6 a.m. Got me a hell of a crop. Mm, bubble time. Gonna take them home. Fill the bathtub for my wife. She'll think it's delightful. God knows I have no clue what these bubbles are made of. But who gives a shit, right? Bubbles in the boat. Uh, bubbles, it's no joke. We grow bubbles every day. I've only been here maybe five minutes. I'm kind of curious if there's a maximum amount of bubbles I can get pinned in here before they start to like slip around the boat. It's important we find out. Oh, for help. These bubbles are out of control. If you're the kind of person that's entertained by a man's kayak being filled with bubbles on a Saturday afternoon, then you should subscribe to my channel, because I do all kinds of dumb stuff like this. Howdy. <laughs> Everybody in Indiana knows it's bubble fishing season in March. God, I hope I don't go over my limit of bubbles. DNR's gonna have a cow. This is grade A bubbles. They ain't sticky or nothing. They just the right kind of consistency. They ain't too dirty. They just right. It's a bubble rodeo. Seven seconds. Or eight or whatever it is. I don't really know rodeos. Thing is, I like fishing, but I like having fun. I fish to have fun. And when the fishing ain't good, the fun having can still be. I think there's a state record for a number of bubbles. I think I might have it. Ooh, hello, little buggy. You wanna share my bubbles, you go right ahead. That's a lot of bubbles. Got a two mile paddle back. Fortunately, wind behind me, heading downstream. Shouldn't be too bad, especially since I have a kayak full of bubbles now. What a delightful experience. Oh, yeah. I've taken as many with me as I can. Going back, loaded to the hill. There we go. Okay, it's bubble time. Anchors away. Oh yeah, goodbye bubble factory. Hello, kayak full of bubbles. You know? This isn't even the dumbest thing I've done this week. I really, I really can't find anything in this kayak now. I'm like, I just, I just need this up oh, there, a little net. There you go. Where is it? I don't know. It's under all the stupid bubbles. You guys want some bubbles? No? <laughs> okay. Sharon. <laughs> they didn't seem too inclined. Mm -hmm. 
I'm back, I'm tired, I get the kayak loaded, and I got skunked. <laughs> but it was a fun day. I got to fish the waterfall, I got to fill the boat with bubbles. It was a good time. Holy smokes, I'm cold. After spending the whole day out in the water, wet, it's about 46 degrees right now, not catching any fish. I did have fun, but I am cold and ready to go home and get some dinner and get warmed up. So if you like this and found it entertaining, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, you'll probably enjoy a lot of the other content I'll uh, be putting out there. So thanks. Have a good day.